Hello, trading is closed on June 30th, 2016. My last call said there was a lot of resistance at uh, yesterday's highs. I said that it was a good chance of this high holding and that we would hit uh, the target of 2063.10 and perhaps lower than that. I also said if we gapped up, then the call was wrong. Well, we, we gapped up, so before the market opened, the call was dead. A familiar refrain, but it's not going to be that way too much longer. Today, we had a buy signal early on that worked, but MJT says it's false, that the prices will retrace and hit 2071.66, most likely by early Tuesday. In the afternoon, it said that drop was false, that prices would recover. It says that rallies false and prices will drop, which they've done. So we have a new target of 2071.66, most likely by early Tuesday. Well, let's look at some longer term things. This is um, the percentage of stocks with favorable chart patterns. Most of the drop has been recovered, but you'll see breadth has not kept pace. Ultimately, this leads to lower prices. That's not a healthy situation. Fewer and fewer stocks leading the market higher. This is the chart I've shown a few times. First, I said there was resistance at this line. We gapped over it. Then I said there was resistance at this line. We gapped over it. There's resistance at this line too. Usually three gaps in a row is all you get, but usually and always aren't the same thing. There are a couple of signals here, a couple of rules, I should say. One rule is that moves in response to a news announcement tend to be reversed quickly and completely. When we were down like this, I said I thought it was pretty unlikely we would uh, keep to that rule here, but it's not so unlikely now. It's possible we go over this high, at which point resistance would be seen. The other rule I talked about was that when you have a hole in the wall gap, it tends to fill pretty quickly. You go over the high of the wall and find resistance there. So there is a case to be made for us moving up over this line, over this high, and finding resistance. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd go as high as we have. I'm willing to be surprised again, but uh, it certainly isn't a luck. Um, <clears throat> as long as we don't go convincingly over this line and add to it, the target remains just under 1940, and that price should print. So we have upside potential of just going over 2113 and a downside requirement that we hit under 1940. And the closer we get to this 2113 plus price, the more favorable the risk reward situation becomes if you go short. We don't really have to go any higher than this because we have a sequential sell signal, a combo sell signal on the 78 minute chart. But let's not forget that the stop loss is based on the closing prices. And this doesn't, this does not preclude getting higher prices first. In alignment with that, we have a, um, combo sell signal on the 65 minute chart. Three more of these bars would give us a sequential sell signal too. And frankly, I like to see them because it would make for a stronger signal to go short. We have a 9.13.9 combo sell on the 30 minute chart and we're two bars away from a sequential sell. I would like to see that print two, even though it doesn't have to. Um, Friday's pattern tends to hit a high within the first 
one to two hours of trading and then drop the rest of the day. What I'd like to see is for us to go higher first, trigger some more of the uh, DeMarc sell signals on the shorter term chart and then reverse lower and drop the rest of the day. I think a big reversal on a Friday just before a long weekend is not a high percentage play and we might have to wait until Tuesday to see this price. But uh, we're close to the end of the rally here, although I like to see it go a little bit higher and a big down move will come sooner or later, probably sooner. And that's today's call.